Keith Clark. First name is K E I T H. Last name C L A R K. Players here at uh, the Sheriff of Wyoming County. So what's been going on here today? Uh, so far today, we've had a, a couple of elderly protesters show up, um, and they were charged with unlawful trespass by the Vernon Police Department. And, uh, processed. And, I've been and right now we're waiting for another group of marchers, uh, protesters that are coming over from Massachusetts. You know what happened with, with those protesters this morning? Very nice. They just they, walked up to the gate. They just walked up to the gate, uh, had a banner, uh, very uh, respectful, polite, um, and just stated their position once again. How many? Uh, I believe there were seven at the time. Did they lock the gate? Uh, they placed a small chain around it. Um, it was their way of saying that it's time to, to close it. And then security ultimately uh, cut, the, cut the chain. Our concern is when they do things like that, it's a safety issue. If we needed to get an emergency vehicle in or out, that we wouldn't be able to as quickly as we needed to. So uh, we allowed them to make that statement. And then we did. How involved is the Sheriff's Department in the protests over the next couple of days? Uh, mostly what we do is we have a contract with Energy for some additional security both here and at their corporate office. Um, so our response responsibility is mostly inside the area to make sure everybody stays safe and we will be doing some of the transport of, of people that have been arrested because that's what we need to oh, So you're acting in, in private capacity today or in public capacity? Uh, both. Well, both. Um, we, in a, sheriffs in Vermont, we operate under contracts, whether it's to towns or private uh, private companies such as Energy. And so they, we've, been, we've had a contract with them for, for years. So it's under that contract they asked us to provide some additional security, which we're doing. And then on the public side is, you know, whether it's Vermont State Police or Vernon PD making arrests, we will assist with the transport and moving people where they can be processed. Right. And from a public perspective, Sheriff, what are uh, Sheriff, what are you expecting out of um, protesters today and tomorrow and this week? Um, I, from everything that we're getting, we're what we're expecting is a small crowds such as this morning, up to probably as many as 500 people. But we think that they're very well trained, um, and they're going to do, do things very safe. Um, our biggest concern is that, you know, uh, the wild card, someone comes in that's not affiliated with those groups doing something that we weren't expecting. But overall, they're, you know, we expect very respectful groups, um, and they're, all they're doing is exercising their right to protest and assemble. And uh, as a sheriff, my job is to, to protect people's rights, and so we will allow them to do that as long as they're not violating I'm not expecting, any, you know, from at least our point of view at the Sheriff's Department, um, any significant uh, yeah, violations of, of law other than maybe on law so Tomorrow you're all prepared for March. Yep. Yeah, we're all prepared. Um, mostly tomorrow's plan is, is based out of the Federal Police Department. You'd, ask, you'd have to speak to them about their plans. Um, we're there to support them and then also, again, under contract with them at their, their corporate offices. What do you think about Peyton moving to Denver? <laughs> um, it's, it, I'm, you know, I think it's a, it's a little too much money for 